Hey, did you know about Alexander the Great? Yeah, the conqueror who built an empire stretching from Greece to India, right? Exactly. His story is fascinating. So, it all began with his father, King Philip II of Macedon, who laid the groundwork for Alexander's conquests. Right, I remember reading that Philip united the Greek city-states under Macedonian rule. That's correct. And when Philip was assassinated, Alexander inherited the throne at just 20 years old. Talk about stepping into big shoes. But Alexander didn't waste any time, did he? Not at all. He had a burning ambition to expand his empire. His first move was to secure his position by swiftly eliminating any potential threats. And then came the famous campaigns, right? I've heard about his conquest of Persia. Yes, his invasion of Persia was legendary. He defeated King Darius III at the Battle of Issues and continued to push eastward, capturing cities like Babylon and Susa. Wasn't there a moment where he famously wept because there were no more worlds to conquer? That's the story, though it's debated whether it's true or not. But his thirst for conquest didn't end there. He marched into India, facing formidable opponents like King Porus. I've heard about the Battle of the Hydaspes. That's where Alexander demonstrated his military genius, right? Absolutely. Despite facing a larger force and challenging terrain, Alexander emerged victorious, earning Porus admiration. It's incredible how Alexander's army managed to adapt to such diverse environments and enemies. Indeed. But sadly, Alexander's conquests came to an end when his troops refused to march farther into India. They were exhausted and homesick. And didn't Alexander die young? Yes, he died in Babylon at the age of 32 under mysterious circumstances. Some say it was illness, while others suspect poisoning. What a remarkable but tragically short life. His legacy, though, has endured through the ages. Absolutely. Alexander's empire may have fragmented after his death, but his influence on history is undeniable. He's remembered as one of the greatest military leaders of all time. True. His story will continue to inspire generations to come. You know, what's fascinating about Alexander is not just his military conquests, but also his vision for cultural exchange and understanding. Right. He wasn't just interested in conquest. He wanted to blend cultures and ideas, creating a sort of melting pot. Exactly. He encouraged his soldiers to marry Persian women, adopted Persian customs, and even dressed like a Persian king. And didn't he found many cities named Alexandria, spreading Greek culture throughout his empire? Yes, Alexandria in Egypt became a center of learning and culture, with its famous library attracting scholars from all over the world. I've heard about the story of the Gordian Knot. That's a classic example of his boldness and decisiveness, isn't it? Definitely. When faced with a legendary knot, which was said to be impossible to untie, Alexander simply cut it with his sword, symbolizing his approach of tackling challenges head-on. It's amazing how many legends and myths surround his life. Absolutely. From his encounters with the Oracle of Amun at Siwa to his alleged divine parentage as the son of Zeus, Alexander's life is shrouded in mystery and legend. And his legacy didn't just impact the ancient world. It influenced the course of history for centuries, shaping cultures and civilizations far beyond his own time. That's the mark of a true historical titan, leaving an indelible imprint on the world that resonates through the ages. Indeed. Alexander the Great's story is a testament to the power of ambition, courage, and vision. It's no wonder he continues to captivate our imagination even today. You know, one aspect of Alexander's story that often gets overlooked is his relationship with his teacher, Aristotle. Ah oh, yes, Aristotle, the famous philosopher. I've heard he was Alexander's tutor when he was young. That's correct. Aristotle instilled in Alexander a love for learning and philosophy, which undoubtedly influenced his later endeavors. It's incredible to think how the teachings of one man could shape the destiny of another in such profound ways. Absolutely. And it's said that Aristotle's teachings stayed with Alexander throughout his life, guiding his decisions and actions as a ruler. I've also read about Alexander's encounters with other famous figures of his time, like Diogenes the Cynic. Yes, the story goes that Alexander visited Diogenes, who was known for his simple lifestyle, and asked if there was anything he could do for him. Diogenes famously replied, 
Yes, stand out of my sunlight. It's moments like these that humanize Alexander, showing us that despite his great power, he was still a man, subject to the same quirks and interactions as anyone else. Definitely. It's these anecdotes that give us a glimpse into the personality and character of this larger-than-life figure. And yet, for all his greatness, Alexander was also plagued by personal demons and struggles, like his complex relationship with his father and the constant pressure to live up to his legacy. True. It's a reminder that even the most extraordinary individuals are not immune to the challenges and complexities of life. Well said, Alice. The story of Alexander the Great is truly one for the ages, full of triumphs, tragedies, and everything in between. Indeed, Bob. It's a story that continues to captivate and inspire us, reminding us of the boundless potential of human ambition and the enduring quest for greatness.